Hi, my name is Tom Adams. In the next five minutes, I'm going to show you how to make a major shift in your thinking about time. And I'm going to do this so you can gain a major surge and quantum leap even in the way you think about your productivity, your creativity, and your enjoyment. All right, you got my promise. I'm gonna help you change the way you think about time. And we're gonna do that by learning how to live in Einstein time. And this is a major shift in your thinking. And it comes from a book that I read a few months ago called uh, The Big Leap. And The Big Leap was written by a guy named Gay Hendricks. And this has been really helpful to me. It's so helpful that I can't help sharing it with you. And so really it's, it's meant to understand how we think about time. And most of us and many of us tend to think in terms of, of Newton time. And Newton time, time is very linear. We have a clock on the wall and there's only a certain amount of minutes in that hour and only a certain amount of hours in that day. And, and when we think in terms of Newton time, time acts on us. And so time is something that's outside of ourselves that we have to live inside of somehow. And so time acts on us and it generally acts on us in one of two ways. We either have too much time and we're bored or we don't have en enough time and we're scurrying around kind of like crazy. We don't have enough time, we don't have enough time. And really what we discover for those of us who are busy, we live with this sense of scarcity about time and we're always complaining about it. There's this limitation that we live in on a regular basis. And this is where many of us spend a lot of our time. And so we're always running to catch up. We're always trying to catch up with the piles on our desk, the to-do list. And the, the, the concern that we have is we just don't have enough time to do what we need to do. Here's the thinking shift though. Newton time needs to move over into Einstein time. And Einstein time is very different. And it, it's really based on the theory of relativity. And Einstein explained relativity in this kind of interesting way, kind of a colloquial way at the time. He talked about the difference between sitting on a hot stove versus spending time with your significant other or someone you love or infatuated with. And, and relativity really shows up in two ways. If you're on a hot stove, time seems to slow down and you can't do enough, you can't go fast enough to get off that stove. Uh, whereas when you're with your lover, what happens is time seems to just disappear. You can make time stand still in that moment and it feels like you're with your lover and you've been for, it's been forever and time just flies by. And so when you understand that dynamic, it's the difference between kind of recognizing that you have some control over time, whereas in Newton time, time has control over you. But in this, in this particular Einstein way of thinking, you have to buy into this. You are where time comes from. So time isn't something outside of yourself. Time is something that you manage and control. You are responsible for it. And in this case, we take ownership for time. And so if you take ownership for time, you can actually make time for things. If you take ownership for time, you actually own your way of thinking about it. And the best way to start owning your way of thinking about time and having that ability to sort of take the time to do what ne what's necessary, the first thing you have to do is quit complaining about time. And for me, just as an example of this, one of the things I'd always do is I'd, I'd go, okay, I've got this much time on my calendar. I've got this much time in this hour to do a certain amount of stuff. And when I lived in Newton time, what would happen is I felt like I, I struggled to get through it. But as soon as I made the switch and went, okay, I have the time that, that I need to accomplish. I can make the time in this hour and let time stretch to support what I need to happen. Uh, uh, that starts happening because I'm quit worrying about time now. Now I'm owning it. And uh, the best example I can give of this is the day before you go on holiday or the hour before you leave the office, you can get an awful lot of stuff done. Why? Because you're actually thinking in terms of ownership of that time. And we're over here, you're thinking about what do I have to do to fill it? So 
ownership and Einstein time is all about recognizing that you own time and that it's not something you have to be a victim to, it's not something you have to complain about, it's something that will dramatically change your life when you start thinking about it. Now, what I've discovered is this isn't a, it logically it's a, a big leap to make and then to try and act on it is, is very valuable. I, I have had so much fun in my own life trying to figure this out with my coaching clients. I've been doing a lot of it as well, talking a lot about this and it's been really helpful. It really helps you to make things happen when you feel like you've got limitations. And so get yourself out of Newton time, move yourself into Einstein time, take ownership of your time because you are where time comes from. I hope that helps. We'll talk to you next time.